Oh, hello. Good evening. Uh, well, I guess I'm solo today. My beer thriller's pal ain't with me tonight. Uh, he had some extracurricular stuff to get done this week, so I am just going to be uh, watching episode four of The Acolyte solo this week. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to provide at least some entertainment. Yeah, I think we should start now. Day four. It, but, but uh, Like I was saying, day, day four. Episode four, day Racing to the next target, the Jedi head to a new world as they close in on the cl clever assassin. Uh, so just as day. Um, so I'm going to assume we're only going to see the POV of uh, Osha or May. Probably not both. If we start seeing both, that's going to really confuse me with the titles then. Because now it's not staying consistent with how they were doing it. Uh, all right. Well, let us start up this episode. I can't wait. Yay, Star Wars, Disney, don't ever change. I love you. This is going to be weird, because I'm assuming this guy doesn't speak English. He's just going to talk through muffled roars. Uh-oh, this is going to suck. <laughs> I already know this is going to suck. Tight, yet subtle. Tight, yet subtle. What is he teaching them? May is the Jedi's problem now. <laughs> Fuck them! Yeah, just show me nature shots. Stop giving me plot. Just just show me really high death na nature shots of the, the Wookiee planet. What are those, trash cans? What the hell are those things? Are they pulling their supplies out of them? He seems to know an awful lot, which is sort of odd. I think at the very least, I don't know if he's going to be revealed to be, like, the, the master, but... He may be revealed to be, like, another, like, it may turn into, like, a thing where it's, like, the Master has multiple apprentices, and then he makes them all fight to the death. Maybe doing a thing, like, sort of establishing the rule of two eventually. Maybe. That makes sense at all? I don't know. Does anything make sense, though? <laughs> it's a Kiari Mundi. What's a Kiari Mundi doing here? And she killed two Jedi Masters. Yeah, that's pretty big. <laughs> they have the wanted posters up. <laughs> why didn't they? Yeah, why didn't they have his photo? Wait, why didn't they have his uh, hologram up there? They had the other three. The Wookiee's still alive. So he should be up there. I guess it'd be awkward because he's in the room. Why didn't you tell me there was a chance this poor girl survived? Oh my god, she's like a rent an actress from like daytime television. No one could have survived that. This uh, the, fe the fellow from Squid Games, he like literally learned English for this role. And he's like acting circles around like the rest of the the cast. It's, it's crazy. I still can't believe they let let that poison guy go so that she could or he could go on an adventure with May. We have something she wants. Like, <laughs> it's, it's mind-boggling that they just let him go. They didn't even, like, have somebody keep eyes on him in case he, like, to follow him. Like, n n none of that makes sense. Just makes the Jedi's look really, really That's stupid. Unarmed, but Meanwhile, in the Lord of the Rings universe... If you disarm them, or <laughs> they're going to Mount Doom or something. I'm just curious how you're going to do it this time. You, you failed so much. But you killed them your way. You have to kill the Wookiee without a weapon. She didn't kill Torben with a weapon. She put poison at his feet, and he killed himself with the poison. She did not kill Torben with a weapon. She, if anything, she killed him with words. Right? This pl this the, this dialogue, this story, it's so shit. It doesn't make any sense. Is the Master only going to be happy if she karate chops the Jedi to death? Is that the only way? Because technically her hands would be a weapon in that case. Like, like I, don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I hope I hope this thing is explained. I have a really, really sinky feeling it won't be. It'll just be like, you, what do you think it means? <laughs> Master Kelnaka. Yeah. Oh, so nobody knows where he is. Okay. So wait, I still need to figure out how, why, how did the poison guy figure it out? What the f is that? Is that a is that like a vole? Basil? It's just like a 
question? It's like a prairie dog. <laughs> oh, at least give us like something like Babu Frick, like something creative. I was going to say, can't you sense him? Can't you sense where he is? Isn't that a whole thing? We have a tracker. What? He's the... Oh my god, no. No. They can sense Jedi, right? Ooh, what are those black pod things? Something cool going to happen with those? We can get some cool, cool alien xenomorph shit. It's a... I cannot believe they're doing like this bloodhound thing. What is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. What are we getting, like some giant insects, bugs? Yeah. And they they are clearly like bug things too. It's not like if I was one of those Jedi, I probably would have tested my lightsaber on like one of them just to see what what's what's up. It's fucking Mothra. Yeah. I have it. Oh, he does have it. It went straight for the saber. It's attracted to light. What great writing. These, like, random Jedi that don't have any names, like, they don't have name tags, like, you know they're fucked. Like, the ones that, the ones that aren't casted, like, normally casted, like, that one guy is so fucked. We're not defined by what we lose. We're defined by how we survive. I guess. I don't know. Come on. That feels like one of those lines you can just like inverse and it still would mean something. Like, we're not defined by what we how we survive, but we're defined by how we what, what we lose. Like it's one of those things that you can just inverse it and it still would have fucking surface level meaning. The Master's gonna kill her if she doesn't kill a Jedi without a weapon? Here. One of the four? Is she allowed to kill at least three of the four with weapons? I'm guessing so. She killed the first person with a weapon. I still claim that she did not kill the second one with a weapon. She provided poison and the guy drank it like on his own volition. That's not killing with a weapon. Oh, so they're... Wait. Wait, they're like right next to each other. They're like... 20 yards from each other. What? Alright. One more uh, reason to think he's not the master. I mean, he's like a simpleton. He, like, he can't get out of, like, avoid traps? Like, bullshit traps? Wait, they heard her scream. That means they're, like, pretty close, right? Why can't they find each other? This episode was called Day? Why is it called day? I'm so freaking lost. What? Yeah, but I came all this way just to say, fuck it. I don't need to do this. Oh, she's alive. Hey, little buddy. What the hell? So is May all of a sudden like incompetent? Oh, he's already dead. He's he's ar some somebody already expired him. A lightsaber. Oh my god, it's like a Scooby Doo mystery. Who did? He's here. The master's here. Wait, 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 wait. They how? Why are they just getting to the door now? Weren't they like right over there? Hmm. So makes sense. Uh, we do know that that does happen in the woods in the trailer. I wonder if that's coming up. Because they're all here. I'm actually anxious to see this. Because that's sort of a cool scene. Oh my god, there he is! The Master. Is it Palpatine? Is it Plagueis? Is it Darth Maul Lady? Who the hell knows? He's got a, a big old toothy grin. It's kind of... It is... It's not a bad look. It's fine. Red lightsaber coming out. 
But how, uh, if, if she can actually fight off, like, seven or eight Jedi simultaneously, then, like... That is almost too damn powerful. Oh, here we are. Whoa! Okay, what? 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 No! What? Fuck you, Sh <laughs> What the fuck? So the flick of her wrist, she blows away, like, what, nine Jedi? They all just take off you know, in a force field? Oh my god. Wow, what a... That was the most episode I've ever seen. Really? It, almost all these episodes just sort of end. They just sort of end, and you just like you're like, oh, okay. I'm sure that's supposed to be like it's supposed to be like a cliffhanger, right? Like, oh my god, how are they gonna get out of this one? He's so powerful, or she's so powerful. Or who knows? Wookie, okay, Wookie, okay. Well, Wookie guy died, so we're halfway through it now. The only person left is Saul. He's the last one on the list. The other three are now gone. Uh, just wandering around in the woods in the j slash jungle. At one wait, wait, wait. They, they ran into like those moth things, and they killed the one flying moth, and then nothing happened after that, right? Like there wasn't like a big bug battle. Uh, new new Chewbacca is gone. Sith just sort of floats into frame, turns on the lightsaber. She flicks Osha aside. I'm still going with Darth Maul Lady uh, as her, because she could have easily just dispatched Osha right there. But she carried them, or made them, or something. I don't know. Uh, but, y yeah, it's it's like, wow, if you can just flick all those Jedi's, like, flies, like, how powerful are you, right? Like, that's insane. That's probably, that's, like, more powerful than Palpatine, right? I don't think Palpatine could do that. <laughs> it's oh my god this is it's pretty bad it's pretty shit for something like uh, i just recently rewatched godzilla minus one uh and i've seen it like three times now total since it, since it released and it's baffling that like one of these episodes is double the each episode's like twice the budget of that and it's like oh how that movie's insanely good and it looks great and here it's just like a bunch of losers walking through the forest for Whatever. That's enough of my rambling. I, I've got nothing else to add. That's... Pr it was a pretty shit episode. It wasn't very good. It's not the worst, but it's still pretty bad. Alright. Toodles.